Mike has, uh, has met with uh, the Doctrine and Credentials uh, Commission of the Associate Gospel Churches, the, the association of churches that we uh, are a part of, and after rigorous examination, and I mean rigorous examination, uh, he has, uh, he has uh, achieved uh, that level of certification. And it's sort of like uh, nurses have RN exams, and, and lawyers are called to the bar, and engineers have their PNG. Uh, uh, status and so in many ways ordination uh, allows Mike uh, to now uh, perform marriages and he can put REV in front of his name and so we're very excited uh, for, for Mike today and want to welcome his family and friends that are here all of you that are you here the youth uh, that are here and uh, great to have you here for this part of our, our service and so with that I'd like to call on uh, Reverend Dr. George Boyd of the Associate Gospel Churches to lead us in this part of our ceremony. Thank you, Pastor Mike. Cynthia and I are absolutely delighted to be here with you this morning. We want to um, bring greetings and congratulations from um, our president, Dr. Uh, Bill Fiji, from the AGC office staff, and also from the 160 churches and congregations that are spread out across, across Canada. We're absolutely delighted that you are part of the association. We believe that God has called us to be a movement of reproducing churches, and uh, we want you to know how much we value Compass Point's partnership with us in that endeavor. Allow me to just give you a little bit of an outline of what's going to take place in the next few moments. I'm going to begin with an explanation of what ordination is all about. Then I'm going to invite Pastor Mike to come and join me at the front, along with some readers that will read scripture, that will be the basis of some very public commitments that Michael is prepared to to make today as part of his ordination. Following that, we're going to ask Michael to sign a document saying that he agrees with the Associated Gospel Church's Articles of Faith and Doctrine and Bylaws. I'm going to invite the elders of Compass Point, along with any AGC pastors, ordained pastors that are here today, to join us at the front. We're going to lay hands on, on he and Tanya. We're going to pray for them. And then um, I'll have a closing benediction. So allow me to begin with just a little bit of an an explanation of what ordination is all about. Ordination is a confirmation that an individual has been called by God to become a vocational minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is a divine call that involves a deep, God-given conviction, us responding in obedience, and God's people affirming that individual. Your congregation has invited the Associated Gospel Churches of Canada to conduct this public service because you believe that Mike Hauser is ordained of God to be a pastor teacher. We mutually agree that his life gifts calling confirmed that he is called by God to be a pastor. The AGC Doctor and Credentials Commission has examined Mike and reported that his Bible knowledge, doctrine, call to ministry, lifestyle, and understanding of Christ's church qualify him for ordination to the Christian ministry. However, if there's anyone here this morning that knows of a reason why he should not be ordained, let that person speak now. And Mike, I'm going to assume we're among friends this morning, so why don't you come and join me? I'm going to ask the readers to come as well. (laughs) Thank you. Great, sir. I'm going to ask Mike to make some commitments. The scriptures will be on the screen behind us, and they'll be read for us. But, But let's listen first to God's word as it relates to conversion and call to ministry. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, unless a man is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service, 
so that the body of Christ may be built up, built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Mike, do you believe in your heart that you are genuinely born again and called to the Christian ministry according to God's will for your life? Yes. Hey, listen carefully to God's word as it relates to the scriptures. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Mike, are you convinced in your mind and heart that the scriptures are verbally inspired and sufficient for all doctrine? Are you committed to teach only that which is revealed in the scriptures to be sound doctrine and in accordance with the articles of faith and doctrine found in the bylaws of the AGC? Yes. Okay, listen carefully to God's word as it, as it relates to the pastor's devotional life. I urge you then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Therefore, Get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves, but do what it says. Mike, will you be faithful in prayer and in the reading of the Bible and in the diligent study of the scriptures and applying your total being to that which is in conformity to the will of God for your life? Yes. Okay, listen carefully to God's word as it relates to the pastor's personal and family life. Here is a trustworthy saying. If anyone sets his heart on being an overseer, he desires a noble task. Now the overseer must be above reproach, a husband of but one wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to much wine, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him with proper respect. Mike, will you intentionally govern yourself and your family in accordance with the teaching of Scripture and so honor the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. Okay, listen carefully to God's word as it relates to the unity of the Spirit among believers. Make every effort to live in peace with all men. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Live in peace with each other. Mike, will you maintain as much as you are able harmony, love, and peace among all believers and all Christian groups, and especially among those who are or shall be committed to your charge. Yes. Okay, listen carefully to God's word as it relates to the two ordinances, first to baptism and then to the Lord's Supper. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Mike, will you faithfully minister in the proper observance of these two ordinances 
and encourage those in your charge to faithfully observe them as vital proofs and valid expressions of their Christian commitment. Yes. Okay, are you prepared to place your signature in support of and agreement with the Articles in Faith and Doctrine, Policies and Bylaws, is set forth in the bylaws of the AGC. Yes, I am. Okay, can I get you sign? You can sign here and then the copy under it as well. As Mike's signing those doc- documents, I'm going to ask the elders of Compass Point to join us here at the front. And Tanya, if you want to join us as well. And then any AGC pastors, ordained AGC pastors that are with us and would like to join us here at the front, by all means, you're more than welcome. If I can ask you and Tanya to kneel. You bet. If we want to gather around them and lay our hands on them. Let's ask the audience to stand with us, please, as we have a couple of the elders lead us in prayer. And I'd suggest you don't put too much weight on them so you don't drive them through the <laughs> floor. But Let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning for Mike Hauser and for his ministry that has been evident here in the time that he's been with us here at Compass Point. And we ask your hand of blessing upon him now and for uh, his family with Tanya and their children as uh, he is uh, making this public declaration of his commitment to minister, uh, be a minister of the gospel, and to minister uh, in this church. And so we just ask your blessing upon him uh, this day and in the coming days. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, the scriptures say in Isaiah, this is the one I esteem, he who has a humble and contrite spirit and who trembles at my word. And Father, we pray for Mike that you would give him a humility, a spirit, and a contrition of spirit that allows his walk with you to always be characterized by a deep dependence. And Father, grant him a humility before your word that he would treat the revelation of Scripture with the utmost of respect as he invests in it for his own knowledge, as it shapes his own thinking as it affects his own behavior and sculpts his own life. And then as he seeks to impart and teach that to others, because it's your love letter to us, it's your words of truth, it's your revelation, and there's nothing greater that we can say or that can come out of our mouths than the words of Scripture. And so would you grant Mike a deep commitment to the stewardship that he has of being a conduit of your message of truth. Father, we pray that you would would strengthen Mike and with that humility and contrition of spirit, give him a confidence that the Spirit of God is in him and you've called him to leadership, to servant leadership, and grant that he would serve and shepherd the flocks that you place uh, under his charge and in his purview responsibility through his life. I pray for Tanya, that together they would shoulder the partnership that comes with the responsibility of leadership and shepherding and that they do so in the joy of the Lord. God, I pray your protection on their relationship and on their marriage. I pray that you would encourage their spirits for there will be times of challenge and difficulty that come to leaders. I pray for a special measure of protection around their children as sometimes they will hear things that perhaps are difficult to hear and they will see things that are difficult to see. But I pray that you would bear them up and give them a love for you, a love for the church, and love for the gospel the way you've given this to Mike and Tanya. And so, Father, as as we as a congregation, as Compass Point, surround Mike and Tanya with our blessing, we pray uh, for your work in their lives. We assure them of our support in their lives. And we pray that uh, your name would be glorified in and through them. Bless Mike Hauser today, we pray, with the stewardship of this responsibility. For this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church. On behalf of the Associated Gospel Churches and upon request of this congregation, I declare you to be duly ordained to the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ to minister to this congregation or to wherever you are appointed later on. May the Lord preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forward and even forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.